Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new Roblox video. Today we are doing the fade only challenge. There's gonna be four holes in this video. What happens is, for every time I fade it, absolutely fine, nothing happens. My score stays the same. As soon as I don't fade it, whether it goes straight or right to left, then I have to add on an extra shot. As it's only off the tee shot, that's how it's gonna be because it's a par three. Right, it's so a hole one. 141 yards to the pin. It is slightly right to left wind, so I'm gonna to have to play into the wind essentially. So I'm gonna go with an eight iron club up, hopefully get that fade going and don't add on an extra shot. Hopefully. Yeah, it's gone in, it's well right. Okay, it's right, it's gonna be a chip. <laughs> Good way to start off the video. I know it's not on the green, but at least I faded it. So I avoid the drop shot. It is a bit tricky today with the wind, especially on this hole, right to left. <sighs> did well, did well. Actually, if anything, holding a ball up in the wind with the fade worked perfectly with the eight iron. Because it is, I think it did land pin high, but obviously off the green. So I actually didn't land too far off the green. I thought it landed further away from the green. Just with the angle, it looked like it was. So a long chip here, gonna bump and run it with a 50 degree wedge. Could have done with a bit more, but I'll take it. Mm, a bit uphill, a bit left to right, I think. So let's hit it and get it in for par. Come on, just got to hit it. Didn't hit it, didn't hit it. Straight at it, it didn't hit you. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> Almost slipped <lipped> out. <laughs> yeah, that's why in a competition you have to take your time. I could have given it as a gimme, but I want to finish my putts. Right, hole two is completely into wind. It's 150 yards in the middle of the green. The pin is located right in the middle. 150, might hit a seven iron. Let's fade the ball at least. I don't care where it goes. It could honestly land about 50 yards short and I'll be happy as long as I fade it. No drop shots. Gonna have to count that as a drop shot. Damn it. Oh, I'm out of breath now, I just ran down there. So the ball got held up in the wind, even though it was trying to fade, it was trying, it didn't. Unfortunately, it was pretty much a straight shot. So actually, if anything, a bit to the left. So now I've got a chip here. It'll be my third shot, because obviously I had, to, I had to take a drop shot for not fading it. Yeah, so I'm gonna chip it up that hill, gonna use a 60 degree wedge. It's I think there's a bit of grass behind the ball, but it might be far enough away that I get a good connection with the ball with the club. So let's try and chip it on the green. Oh, I just needed to aim a bit more left. It'll do, it's a good chip. I learned that tip off Grant Horvat, so thank you very much, Grant. Yeah, right to left port, uphill. Let's try and get it in there for bogey. It was a good pace to the putt, but it's going to be a hopefully, 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 hopefully. It isn't, it isn't. Yeah. That's a shame. It was a double bogey because of the tee shot. <sighs> That's the challenge. I'm enjoying it. It's actually quite fun. Just really windy. Like that probably would have faded if there wasn't so much right to left wind there. Right, third hole now we're playing 141 yards. This wind is helping in my favour. This is left to right wind. So hopefully I can easily fade this ball and get it onto the green. It's gonna be tough with the pitch wedge, but hopefully I can let it ride in the sky and it'll go left to right. Just, just faded. I don't know, I don't know what happened to the wind. Because the pitch you can't really fade. So I was relying on the wind, but only just took it, but I'll take it. It's safe to be on the green, uphill putt for birdie. Yes, yeah, so I've got a very long right to left put uphill as well. Pretty straight to start off with, but then it's when it goes up the hill, it goes right to left. I just need to get it onto that tier. Let's try, let's not hit it too hard, but I don't know. It's looking like a three put here at least. <sighs> just got up, luckily. Try and top in for pot. You know what, for a second then I thought it had the legs that it just stopped. But luckily it's just stayed on the top of the slope. So here we go. Can I make this par putt? Gonna go right edge. 
What a par that is. Ah, oh, potential three putt. But I get it in a two. Nice little straight putt in the end that was, so a par to follow on from the double bogey and the bogey in the first two holes. Just, just got the fade. And by that, the wind just took it slightly because I definitely didn't have any fades in that ball from my club swing. So the final hole, again, pretty much got the same left to right wind, but there's not going to be much from this. Got about 120 yards, going to use a 50 degree wedge. Try and uh, start it off that left hand bunker over there. And hopefully it turns a little bit, because if it turns a little bit, it can then bounce up and onto the green as it has done in a previous challenge. Just don't go in the water, please. The worst thing that could happen right now is that I don't fade it and I put it into the water because essentially I'll have to take two shots then. Right then, I've left myself with a very difficult chip. Let's try that Grant Horvath technique again. It worked two holes ago. The difference is I'm now on perfect fairway as opposed to rough so I could easily thin it, which, let's be honest, is probably going to happen. We'll see. Just did the opposite. That's so far. I might as well just give myself a drop shot. <laughs> right, Tio, the worst part of my game now is my bunker shot, so let's see. Let's see if I can get it out and get it close. Uh, terrible way to end this video, honestly, right? Got about 15 foot put, right to left, slightly uphill. Let's try and save Boogie. Uh, right to left, but I played it left. <laughs> Let's tap this in for double. Let's not lip it out. I don't want a three put. Oh my days. <laughs> so close again. Well, double bogey to finish, almost slipped out again as I did with a previous putt. So to end the challenge, I faded three of my shots on three of the holes out of four. I clearly need to work on my chipping. Off tight lies, I need to know which type of shot to play. I can't use the same shot every single time. But anyway, five over par through four holes on this fade only challenge. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel too so you never miss another Rob Ops video. And anyway, until the next challenge, peace.